My father was, uh, made his professional debut as a soloist with the Warsaw Philharmonic when he was 11 and had a co concert career as a child prodigy. Then I, his last performance was at some point in his early 90s. Each E. Stradivarius has a name. This one was known as the AIM Stradivarius after a, a performer who played with it uh, in the late 1800s. My thought is it probably will now be known as the Ames Totenberg Stradivarius. He had given a concert in Boston at the Longy School of Music where he was the music director at that point. And he was greeting well-wishers after the concert. And when he turned around to go retrieve his violin from his office slash dressing room, um, it was gone. And it was a crushing blow because it had been, as he put it, his musical partner for 38 years. Philip Johnson died of pancreatic cancer and left to his ex-wife um, the violin. And it was in a case with a combination lock. And so when she saw that lock, she couldn't figure out, she didn't know what the combination was. Uh, and so she put it in a back room somewhere and then she was three and a half years later cleaning up with her boyfriend and they come across this thing, at least this is what she subsequently said, and they come across the violin and the boyfriend breaks the lock and they see this instrument and it says made by Antonio Stradivari in 1734 and she calls a musician friend and says um, what do I do with this and he put her in touch with a, an appraiser and he described to me as you'll hear in my piece tomorrow uh, opening the case, examining the violin for about a half an hour, and saying to her, I have good news for you and bad news for you. The good news is this is a real Stradivarius. The bad news it was, is it was stolen 35, 36 years ago from Roman Totenberg. And I have to tell the authorities right away. And within two hours, the FBI was there. I knew that my father had suspected an individual of stealing the violin but I didn't know the name. And so I had to find his former secretary who had, I later learned, moved to California, got married, had a different name, but I tracked her down and she remembered the name. And it was Philip Johnson, the same person who had died with it in his custody.